go into a mobile business, you still need to have some sort of bag put together so that when you do go out, you won't be like, oh, I forgot this, oh, I forgot that. Because everybody's going to go party, everybody's going to have fun. So make sure you have everything, and this is what you should have. Alright, so first what you need to have, you need to take an inventory of everything you have so you can make sure you don't run out of stuff. Let me show you. Right, so what you first should have in your bag, alright, when you go out on your mobile business or any type of business or meeting, any spa service, or just going out with friends and family, you never know what's going to pop off. So, for your self-defense, either have some sort of blade that's under four inches, which is legal, and not saying go stab anybody, hurt anybody, but if someone's trying to stalk you, they see you carrying a lot of bags, they assume that you have a lot of money. So to protect yourself, you have to have something, a cell phone and call 911, most people will still attack you. People are desperate for money these days, so at least have some sort of protection, you know, so you can move out without feeling fear and let them know that you mean business. All you have to do that, bring out the blade, they'll run. They want to stay and fight, that's stupid, but if they have a gun, that's going to be something that you need to deal with. I'm not saying carry a gun, but stay around crowds, stay around people that you can trust, and that won't happen to you. Be careful of the clients that you want to go see, or they call you for service, because it's going to be in an inner city, it's going to be in the hood, it might be in the best of places in the suburbs. You never know, somebody might be trying to set you up. Next, you have your bodyguard spray. Get bodyguard, bodyguard. Police officers carry this, and as a former police officer, you use this, just spray it anywhere. It's aerosol, it's gonna get everywhere. You don't necessarily have to spray it right for their eyes. Spray it anywhere, it's gonna stay and linger in the air, and it's gonna stop them from trying to attack you. You'll be good to go. But if you do have a permit to carry a gun, do so, but just you don't wanna jeopardize your life going to jail for shooting somebody. Then you're gonna need a long cable, which is just an extension cord. Always have a long extension cord. You never know, have at least 50 feet. 50 feet for if you're doing bending events, you're going to have to have a long super cord because most vending events, they're not going to give you a, a plug that's like right close to the wall. They're going to give you some far off booth that you're not going to be able to plug in your machines. Then next, make sure you have either a short cord because you never know when you might be in like a little small confined area. You might need a shorter cord to plug your um, devices in. Moving on to your coolant, little CO2 fan. This is for somebody who gets hot. You're putting on a pill. Their base is all getting ready to be on fire. You press the button in the back, the fan comes on, and this trigger right here, you can have some nice cool water in there, just spray it. It'll calm them down. It's good to go. Good stuff. Dang. Next, you're going to have some hand sanitizer. Your hand sanitizer, as it is, hand sanitizer, just put it on. Always make sure the client sees you put hand sanitizer on. It's good to go. Always have that with you. Um, gum. Always need some gum. Use the gum. Bad breath and doing a treatment is terrible. It's crazy. Now, you need these two instruments. This one is a PayPal swipe your card. This one is your square. The square card, it's really easy. It goes straight to your bank account and so does the PayPal. PayPal actually will go straight to your PayPal account. Then once the check clears or credit card clears, then it goes to your bank. But this automatically goes to your bank account. So both of them are really good. Always have two. One might go down, maybe the server's down, you have the backup. Always have two have a way of getting their payments. And lastly, a nail clipper. You'd be surprised, like my nails now, pretty long. If I did a facial today, I'd probably scratch somebody's face up doing the massage portion of their facial. So just make sure you have a nice clipper with you. Make sure you have two. Sometimes I forget one, don't have one this evening, then you gotta bite and gnaw and it can really cause. Let me show you how to set up your inventory. Your inventory should go as such. Make sure you have your business cards. Have the bigger business cards and the smaller business cards. Make sure you have both, always have both. You never know who you're gonna run into. Make sure the big ones have the telephone number in big and bold print. It's italicized or bold, either or. Have the address, your name, Facebook, Instagram page, Twitter account, all that good stuff. Make sure the pictures are nice and bright so they can see what you're doing. Smaller cards, just put a few pictures. Throw your advertisement on there. Telephone number, website, you're good to go. Now, when you go to like Starbucks or any type of bookstores, uh, meetings and stuff like that, make sure you have thumbtacks. Thumbtacks so you can pin them up there. Because everybody sometimes shares the same thumbtacks or they steal yours. Make sure you just have a whole bunch of yours. Now, all your cleansers, they should be in alignment. Make sure you account for all your cleansers. Make sure you know how much are in each cleanser. And that's your inventory. Then for your toner, make sure you have a nice size toner. Make sure you account for all your sponges, hair ties, gauze pads, um, makeup remover. Make, a, make sure you have 
and account for all your enzyme mass, your peels, or your peels over here. But your enzyme mass are very important. Line them all up in each bag, retinal creams, salicylic cleanser, all your acne treatments definitely should be accounted for. Your acne mass, clay mass, mud mass, the more expensive mass, always keep them to the front. That's just the way I do it, you don't have to. Um, this acne treatment, the clear skin, very expensive stuff, so always make sure I have all my inventory of my expensive stuff first, then have an account for all the less expensive stuff later. All this stuff is pretty expensive, but then there's just ones that stand out, so then you'll know how much to save and then put away for a rainy day. So when someone keeps asking for the PCA or um, the Derma Sutric or Lyra products, they're very expensive, or the Precise MD products, they can run you a pretty penny. Make sure you have everything in order. Just like TCA pill, very expensive. Make sure you have enough for that. All your pills account for your pills more than almost anything. Then for your your moisturizers, moisturizers should always be full. You know, full of moisturizer. If they get down to like here, you need to change your moisturizers. You have your serums. Serums are very expensive, but they're very good. And a lot of people request serums. Oh, do you have this? Do you have this? Uh, make sure you have some serums for them. And have some travel size or bite size on the go to show them like okay I can get you this stuff and sell this at 30 40 bucks it only cost about 25 but 25 dollars for a small bottle is still expensive then have your after home care treatment kit it should look like this so it's just a after home care treatment center that you tell your client just do these little steps they good to go nice and small compact that's all they need send them on their way Lip balms, wintertime or summertime. I still wear a lip balm. I like, you know, my lips to be soft, I guess. So sell a lip balm or two. This is just nothing but information that's good for your skin. They want to ask a million and one questions about how to do that, how do I do that? Send them home with some homework. Go home. Give them all the literature that you want. Gift certificates. Always have some gift certificates. You can always sell gift certificates to somebody for their birthdays, anniversaries, Thanksgiving, Christmas, bar mitzvahs, whatever. Just for a day out, give them a gift card do it at a, redu a reduced rate, they'll come back. Crazy. Then, you get your notepad, make sure they got their name, email, telephone number, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook account. Always stay in contact with them. Follow up, follow up, follow up. You'll always have more clients. Trust me. And that's pretty much it for your inventory. I'm going to show you a close-up view. You now have the tools for success. You now know what you have to do, how to do it. Don't let anybody else tell you what you should be doing, how to do it. Do it for yourself. This is just a guide. I'm just telling you how I do it. So when you go out and do wonderful things, always critique yourself in the negative. Critique yourself as, okay, look, I could have did this better. How do I do more, I don't know, treatments in less time? Always, always, always look for the bad. Anybody can tell you how good it is. Anybody can tell you how great and good life is. But what are the bad things? What do you need to look out for? What are some things that can stop you? And if you don't think about and focus the bad, something bad will happen. And you won't know how to prepare. If you know how to prepare yourself, you will win. You'll always win. There is no negative in that equation. So, go forth, do wonderful things. Again, part two is coming soon. Part two will show you how the machines actually work, what I actually use and carry in my bags, how do I compact it into such a small bag. You do not want to have 18 bags carrying up flights of steps and you're tired before you can do, you can do a facial. Trust me, I've been there, done that. It sucks. Kendrick Lamar, Jeez. So you're going to do well, kick ass, take names, all that good stuff. All right?
treatment, and this is what you're going to do to set up your mobile spa when you go for treatments, when you go to somebody's home, and this is how easy it is. First, always have your music, because sometimes when you go for treatment, you're not going to have, it's going to be silence, and that's not good. So you need to put somebody at ease to set the mood. You have your nice little portable stereo system. You bring it on out, place it on the table, and then you put your iPod, iPhone, whatever you need to play, right on in here. Then, secondly, you have this big old briefcase. It's not too big, it's nice and light, it's compact, it's very nice. And it stands out, so if somebody tries to take your stuff, you know something nice and silver they should be having. Everybody else's stuff is kind of crappy. You're going to have something real nice and neat, and that's going to show off. So if it does go disappearing, you'll just notice it going down the street. So now you go unlock it, unlatch your hooks. Take your top off. Place it on the table. And what I have inside is a fan, because you're going to have to clean or cool the client space. And it's a nice little fan that turns on, you hit the little button, and here it's on. And then you can spray nice cold water on their face if they're too hot. You need your post care treatment, which you need to give to your client. It's a nice little bag, it's a nice little gift to give to them, they'll keep coming back. But that's your side, don't show them that, show them that later as a gift. You have your treatment bag with your moisturizers, your sunscreens, and your calming balm. All your creams, just put them into one bag with your sponges. Keep that in one bag. This cup this is going to be your washing cup. You don't need a big bowl or a big cup that can take up too much room inside. Compact is best. So when you empty your contents, all you're going to have is the needles for your skin pen treatment, if you have a skin pen, which is very wonderful. Everybody wants to get that. A nail file, nail clipper. You need to have short nails. My nails are pretty long. So now I'll just go ahead and clip my nails. Give somebody a very nice treatment. A hair tie. Hair tie is very important. Just because females get a treatment, you think that they will be prepared at all times with a hair tie. That's not the case. You need to have one. The hair can get in your way. It's messy. If you're accepting credit cards or payment, you need these. Your square, so you can swipe your credit card, swipe it through, put it through your phone. It goes automatically. Your PayPal swiper, which is the same thing. Up here, it just slides through. You can't go wrong. You need two. If you have one, that's fine. But what if one breaks down and all they have is credit? And you just, just did that whole procedure. You need two. One for backup. And if both the systems are down and neither one of them work, they need to get to some cash or an ATM. They need to pay you for your services. Now, I have my skin pin, which I unlatch. It's in there. It's ready to go. And also have my little shaving tools as well. Keep that in there. The skin pin. Puts it in. The battery's on. Click the button. You can barely even hear it. It's nice, sleek. It's calm and cool. Get done your treatments, and you're on your way. Next, I have my microdermabrasion machine. It's not the crystals. It's the diamond tip. The diamond tip is the way to go. It's the best option. Crystals, you don't have to clean up. There's a lot of mess in the crystals. But the diamond tip, it just unwraps. You plug it into a wall. When you plug it in, make sure you have an extension cord. I forgot. I should have brought that out first. Your extension cord is your lifesaver. Without an extension cord, how can you power anything? And a lot of people will have a plug, but where they want you to do the service at, there are maybe one plug and it's being used by their TV or their music. So just definitely have a circuit breaker with a lot of other attachments and plugs. Okay? Or extension cord. Your diamond tip microdermabrasion machine, it turns on, makes a little noise. You just scan, clean the skin off, you're good to go. If they want to take a look at how their skin is, you have a nice little mirror, you're on the go. Next, you bring out your peels, have them in a separate bag, don't have them floating around without a bag because sometimes they can spill, they get hot. These bottles have acids in them, acids get too hot, they explode. So you keep them separate from everything else just in case they do, you just never know. All your peels together. You definitely need galls. Your lightning serum, have everything kind of individual so if stuff spills and corrodes and messes things up. Your retinal A cream. By itself, it's a must need for clients because that's one thing that they're going to ask you is where's the retinal A cream? I need this, I need that. So you'll have it, they'll please, them. they'll be happy. This is your steamer. It's portable, it's lightweight. This attachment just goes right on the top, it's right on in. There you go, plug it in, instant steam. If you can't have a steamer, get some hot towels, put it in the microwave. Everybody has a microwave. And if you don't have a microwave, next option, just warm water, put the towels, put it on their face, it will still open up the pores. 
And lastly, you have your toner and your oily wash. Your oily wash is pretty much just your cleanser. This cleanser is formulated for oilier skin. You have dry cleanser and you also have normal skin cleansers. But these two, you can't go wrong. If you have the time, this brush, you plug it in. I didn't bring the cord with me, but I do have it. You plug it on in if you have time to do this type of spa party. Maybe four or five women. You can scrub their face nice and gentle. Because a lot of people see things on the movies or they went to a really, really nice spa and they always want to know where's the brush. How come you didn't use it? They will get mad because you didn't use something. So just bring it just in case. It's a portable brush, which is great. And last thing, your card, your advertisement. Definitely have your smaller cards and then you're also going to have your bigger cards. Your bigger cards are going to have all your information just expand it so people can see. Some people can't see what's on these littler cars. People wear glasses, have a hard time seeing. It's not an old thing, it's not even a young thing. People's eyes are bad either through um, defects in their eyes growing up or as a child or allergies or whatever the case may be, you go to a bigger card. The bigger card, you can see, you have all my pictures, same information. On, on the back just has a little bit more detailed information with the prices, people smiling, having a good time, and that's it. And this is my to-go bag. So once again, this is what it all came into. Nice stainless steel. It's tough. Um, you can throw it around. It's not going to break up or anything. A lot of people will bring bags to these vending events or bridal showers or whatever it is, and they go missing all the time. So definitely invest your time in something durable and lightweight. So very lightweight. All right. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody. My name is Benjamin. I'm a master esthetician. And now we're about to begin part one of how to set up your to-go bag so when you do your medi spa treatments or on-the-go treatments for a mobile spa, this is what you need. And even if you don't go into a mobile business, you still need to have some sort of bag put together so then when you do go out, you won't be like, oh, I forgot this, oh, I forgot that. Because everybody's going to go party, everybody's going to have fun. So make sure you have everything and this is what you should have. So first, what you need to have, you need to take an inventory of everything you have so you can make sure you don't run out of stuff. Let me show you. Okay, so what you first should have in your bag, all right, when you go out on your mobile business or any type of business or meeting, any spa service, or just going out with friends and family, you never know what's going to pop off. So for your self-defense, either have some sort of blade that's under four inches, which is legal, and I'm not saying go stab anybody, hurt anybody, but if someone's trying to stalk you, they see you carrying a lot of bags, they assume that you have a lot of money. So to protect yourself, you got to have something. A cell phone and call 911, most people will still attack you. People are desperate for money these days, so at least have some sort of protection, you know, so you can move out without feeling fear and let them know that you mean business. All you have to do that, bring out the blade, they'll run. They want to stay and fight, that's stupid. But if they have a gun, that's going to be something that you need to deal with. I'm not saying carry a gun, but stay around crowds, stay around people that you can trust, and that won't happen to you. Be careful of the clients that you want to go see or they call you for service because it's going to be in an inner city it's going to be in the hood it might be in the best of places in the suburbs you never know somebody might be trying to set you up next you have your bodyguard spray get bodyguard bodyguard police officers carry this and as a former police officer you use this just spray it anywhere it's aerosol it's going to get everywhere you don't necessarily have to spray it right for their eyes spray it anywhere it's going to stay and linger in the air and it's going to stop them from trying to attack you you'll be good to go. But if you do have a permit to carry a gun, do so, but just you don't want to jeopardize your life going to jail for shooting somebody. Then you're gonna need a long cable, which is just an extension cord. Always have a long extension cord. You never know, have at least 50 feet. 50 feet for if you're doing vending events, you're gonna to have to have a long super cord because most vending events, they're not gonna give you a, a plug that's like right close to the wall. They're gonna give you some far off booth that you're not gonna be able to plug in your machines. Then next, make sure you have either a short cord, because you never know when you might be in like a little small confined area, you might need a shorter cord to plug your um, devices in. Moving on to your coolant, little CO2 fan. This is for somebody who gets hot, you're putting on a pill, their face is all getting ready to be on fire. You press the button in the back, the fan comes on, and this trigger right here, you can have some nice cool water in there, just spray it. It'll calm them down. It's good to go. Good stuff. Dang. Next, you're going to have some hand sanitizer. Your hand sanitizer, as it is, hand sanitizer, just put it on. Always make sure the client sees you put hand sanitizer on. It's good to go. Always have that with you. Um, gum. 
always need some gum. Use the gum. Bad breath and doing a treatment is terrible. It's crazy. Now, you need these two instruments. This one is a PayPal swipe your card. This one is your square. The square card, it's really easy. It goes straight to your bank account and so does the PayPal. PayPal actually will go straight to your PayPal account. Then once the check clears or credit card clears, then it goes to your bank. But this automatically goes to your bank account. So both of them are really good. Always have two. One might go down, maybe the server's down. You have the backup. Always have two. Have a way of getting their payments. And lastly, a nail clipper. You'd be surprised, like my nails now, pretty long. If I did a facial today, I'd probably scratch somebody's face up doing the massage portion of their facial. So just make sure you have a nice clipper with you. Make sure you have two. Sometimes I forget one, don't have one this evening, then you gotta bite and gnaw and hang, hang, hang. It could really cause how to set up your inventory your inventory should go as such make sure you have your business cards have the bigger business cards and the smaller business cards make sure you have both always have both you never know who you're going to run into make sure the big ones have the telephone number in big and bold print it's italicized or bold either or have the address your name facebook instagram page twitter account all that good stuff make sure the pictures are nice and bright so they can see what you're doing smaller cards just put a few pictures throw your advertisement on there Telephone number, website, you're good to go. Now, when you go to like Starbucks or any type of bookstores, uh, meetings and stuff like that, make sure you have thumbtacks. Thumbtacks so you can pin them up there. Because everybody sometimes shares the same thumbtacks or they steal yours. Make sure you just have a whole bunch of yours. Now, all your cleansers, they should be in alignment. Make sure you account for all your cleansers. Make sure you know how much are in each cleanser. And that's your inventory. Then for your toner, make sure you have a nice size toner. Make sure you account for all your sponges, hair ties, gauze pads, um, makeup remover. Make, make sure you have an account for all your enzyme masks, your peels, or your peels over here. But your enzyme masks are very important. Line them all up in each bag, retinal creams, salicylic cleanser, all your acne treatments definitely should be accounted for. Your acne masks, clay masks, mud masks. The more expensive masks, always keep them to the front. That's just the way I do it, you don't have to. Um, this acne treatment, the clear skin, very expensive stuff. So always make sure I have all my inventory of my expensive stuff first, then have an account for all the less expensive stuff later. All this stuff is pretty expensive, but then there's just ones that stand out. So then you'll know how much to save and then put away for a rainy day. So when someone keeps asking for the PCA or uh, the Derma Sutric or Lyra products, they're very expensive. Or the Precise MD products, they can run you a pretty penny. Make sure you have everything in order. Just like TCA pill, very expensive. Make sure you have enough for that. All your pills account for your pills more than almost anything. Then for your your moisturizers, moisturizers should always be full. You know, full of moisturizer. If they get down to like here, you need to change your moisturizers. You have your serums. Serums are very expensive, but they're very good. And a lot of people request serums. Oh, do you have this? Do you have this? Make sure you have some serums for them. And have some travel size or bite size on the go to show them like, okay, I can get you this stuff and sell this at 30, 40 bucks. It only costs about 25, but $25 for a small bottle is still expensive. Then have your after home care treatment kit. It should look like this. So it's just a after home care treatment center that you tell your client, just do these little steps. They're good to go. Nice and small, compact. That's all they need. Send them on their way. Lip balms, wintertime or summertime. I still wear a lip balm. I like, you know, my lips to be soft, I guess. So sell a lip balm or two. This is just nothing but information that's good for your skin. They want to ask a million and one questions about how to do that, how to do that. Send them home with some homework. Go home. Give them all the literature that you want. Gift certificates. Always have some gift certificates. You can always sell gift certificates to somebody for their birthdays, anniversaries, Thanksgiving, Christmas, bar mitzvahs, whatever. Just for a day out, give them a gift card. Do it at a, redu a reduced rate, they'll come back. Crazy. Then you get your notepad, and make sure they got their name, email, telephone number, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook account. Always stay in contact with them. Follow up, follow up, follow up. You'll always have more clients. Trust me. And that's pretty much it for your inventory. I'm going to show you a close up view.